Hi, I'm Miss Noakes. I'm a first grade teacher here at Longdale Elementary School. And today our first graders are going to be doing the second day of their Best Nest STEAM Challenge. All right, boys and girls. So we started yesterday with our Best Nest STEAM Challenge. First, let's go over our success criteria. So it says, what am I learning? I am learning how to use the STEAM design to build a nest. Why am I learning it? I am learning this to better understand the STEAM design process. So the STEAM design, yesterday we did our read aloud and then we did a brainstorm. So now today we're gonna do the rest of those, of that design process. How will I know I've learned it? I will build a nest for my bird and it will sit in that nest without falling off. Yesterday we read the best nest. Who can raise a quiet hand and tell me something that happened in that book yesterday? What do you think, Skye? Um, they tried to find a new nest. They were trying to find a new nest. Very good. What else, Chase? They found a nest in the church and then it got, and then the man accidentally destroyed it and they, and the mom, the bird, came back to the old nest. Very good. So they started in one nest and they decided maybe we could find a different place to build this nest and it'll be a little bit better. But then that nest got destroyed so they went back to their real nest, right? So that's what you're going to be doing today. We saw those birds getting materials that they needed to build the nest. You guys are going to have materials provided to you to make the nest. Yes, Elvis? But after the Yes, so what season are we in? Um, spring. spring. The birds are going to come back. They're starting to build their nest to what's going to be in that nest? Egg. Egg. So that's what we saw at the end of the book. Very good. It's so adorable. Our challenge. Can we build a nest for our bird out of toothpicks and marshmallows? Who remembers what I told you our bird was going to be? What's our bird going to be? Or it's a can. A peep. You're going to get a peep. That's going to be your bird. Materials that you're going to get. One peep. That's going to be your bird. Ten toothpicks, five marshmallows to build your nest. Are you going to get 11 toothpicks? No. Are you going to get nine toothpicks? No. How many toothpicks are you going to get? Ten. Are you going to get six marshmallows? No. Are you going to get four marshmallows? No. How many marshmallows are you going to get? Five. On your desk. You have your brainstorms from yesterday. Your next job. You are going to receive a design page. So the first day we did brainstorm, now we're going to do a design. I'm about to share with you what the design is going to be. This is going to be the final drawing before you get your materials. Okay? Again, how many toothpicks? How many marshmallows? Five. Should you draw 11 toothpicks? No. Because you're not going to get 11 toothpicks. This is your final design. Capiche? You may use crayons for this. A lot of you asked if you could use crayons for the, the brainstorm. I said it should just be a quick little brainstorm. But this one, you're going to have six minutes to complete your design. Yes, you may use crayons. Any questions? Elvis? One minute. Raise how your many, hand. How many um, minutes are we going to have for the building? To create? I'll show you. You're going to have eight minutes to create. We'll get there in a minute. Six minutes to design. Okay? Wait, do we have to draw the same thing? You don't have to. Maybe we've been talking about all this stuff and a, another idea popped into your head that's different from yesterday. A design, you're going to be drawing, Pat, just like you did yesterday. Maybe you thought about something and you want to add something different. Maybe you want to take that toothpick that you drew on your brainstorm and put it in a different place. It's totally up to you. Okay? What goes at the top of this paper? Name. Please put your name on it. As you are working on your design, I'm going to come around and pass out your materials. Should you touch the materials yet? No. No, I promise you'll be building with them, but just work on your design first. Six minutes now, guys. Oh, I like it. Mm -hmm. 
the knock if you want to, you can do exactly what you did at your brainstorm. Unless you want to change it, you can't. Don't touch them yet. Still got about five minutes. Make sure you're drawing your design. About four and a half minutes. Oh, very nice. So are these, these are your marshmallows? What's this? That's the toothpick? Yeah. How are these two gonna stick together? So, this is the Oh, this is the big marshmallow? Yeah. So remember, the marshmallows are this size. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so if these are two toothpicks, how could you make those stick together? I can rub a little bit of the marshmallow. Okay, okay, I like it. Keep working, it's very creative. So your peep's gonna go in the middle? Remember how, oh, if it's left over. Okay, but how many peeps do you have just in case I don't have any left over? Just how many? One, yeah, good job, I love it, Pat. Wow. Ooh, I love it. Almost done. Okay, we have, we have about one minute left, so make sure you're wrapping up your ideas. I am seeing some beautiful designs on these papers. You guys are so super creative. I think these are going to turn out beautifully. You, your next job is to create what you have just designed. Create means you're going to take those materials and you're going to make it look like the design you just drew. So this, these materials in your baggie, when you guys were designing, I came around and handed one baggie to each friend. Can I show yours? Try your best to make your final design look like, or try your best to make your materials look like your final design. Any questions? Yes, Brandon. Yep, so those are the peeps. Yeah. Yes. So when you think you're done, raise your hand and then we can see if the peep will stay on your nest. Yes, Elvis. Every time when I go to the store, everything is Easter. That's the next holiday, so that's what's everywhere. <laughs> All right. How many minutes do you have to create? Eight. Eight. I'm going to put eight on the timer. Try your best. You got those eight minutes. Okay. Eight minutes is a lot longer than you think. All right, ready? Yeah. Go ahead. Yes, I will come. Let me help Demalti. How are we going to stick those toothpicks together, Demalti? Look, you have all your materials. How are you going to put them together? That's a smart idea, because if you do it in the air, it could fall over. Good to know, I'll be back around. Mess around with them. See how you're going to get them to stick. Well, what could we put in the middle? Beautiful! <laughs> and it's already tested out. Very good. Excellent, Jamel. And you only, how many toothpicks did you use? Count your toothpicks. Oh, those are the marshmallows. Count your toothpicks. You only used half of your toothpicks, and then how, did you use all your marshmallows? Yeah. Very good. Excellent. Very nice. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, Pat. Let's see. Put your peep on there. Let's see. Is it going to stay? Q-tip right here. Then I made it stick. Oh, it's stuck. Yeah. Oh, right so you used a toothpick in your bird. Yeah. Interesting. Very nice. That's awesome. It does stay, and it doesn't fall over. Very good. 
which works because birdhouses are sometimes hanging from what? Trees. Trees. So didn't say it had to be on the ground. Ooh, very nice. If you did it one way, can you find another way to maybe do it? Very nice. Excellent. Very good. These look awesome. Ooh, that is so smart. Friends, look at skies. I was like, one, two, three, four, five. That's six marshmallows. Do you know what she did with one of the marshmallows? She tore them in half. Anywhere did it say you can't tear up the, the marshmallow? Good thinking. I like it. You have about a minute and a half. We're going to do a quick reflection about what we did today. Who wants to share? So I shared skies. And she was able, she had only had five marshmallows, just like all of you, but here we counted one, two, three, four, five, six. We talked about how she split that marshmallow in half to get six marshmallows. Brilliant. Who else would like to share theirs? Go ahead, Reagan. Let me see what you got. So what did you do? Okay, in the middle. And then I put the peep in, and then I put some sticks around. Right, so she did around, and then she also put them crisscross for the peep to sit on. Very good. Yes, Brandon, what'd you do? Um, I made it so it can stick on, so the two fish can stick on on the bottom, so it can stick the peep. Good, so like Reagan, you kind of did an outline and then you put some in the middle so that your peep could sit on it. Okay. All right, Joa, what did you do? Um, I, I made like a triangle. Okay. A triangle and I put um, two marshmallows to stick the um, toothpicks so the um, peep can sit on it. Beautiful, we talked about how it didn't have to be flat because sometimes we see birdhouses hanging from what? Trees. So she was holding it like this, and some birdhouses do hang from trees. All right, let's keep going. So we tested them out as you guys were going. You tested to see if it worked. If it didn't work, what'd you do? You starved over and you tried something else, and you got more ideas from what you did the first time. Very nice, Pat. All right, reflection. What was one thing that was difficult for you? What was something that was kind of difficult, Reagan? Getting it to make it a circle. Ooh, getting it to make a circle because the toothpicks are straight, right? So it's going to be hard to get into a circle, especially you only had how many toothpicks? Six. Six. How many toothpicks? Ten. 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 And how many marshmallows? Five. Five. So it was difficult to make a circle with the supplies that you got. What else was difficult, Chase? Trying to make it stop falling. No, trying to make it actually sit up there and not fall. What do you think was difficult? To put in the middle because it was hard. The toothpicks in the middle? Because you kind of had to make them crisscross and find the other end of those marshmallows, right? Very nice. What else was difficult? Um, putting the thing in the middle. Putting the, the toothpick in the middle. There you go. What was easy for you? What was something that was really easy, Logan? Um, changing this toothpick from me. From here to here. Oh, so you saw something wasn't right, and so you picked it off and tried it another way? Yeah, and then I made three rooms. Oh, you made three different rooms for your bird. Very nice. What else was easy, Pat? I made oh. two rooms, one for one, that his bedroom with his living room. In his living room, his bedroom and his living room? I love it. What else was easy, Bethany? Put the bird inside. Putting the bird inside of the nest? Very good. What else, Elvis? Um, Building the house was easy for you? Awesome. Last one. What would you change if we were to do this activity again? What's something that you would change, Janelle? The whole thing. The whole thing? You thought it was tricky? Yeah. Okay. Okay. What else would you change, Marley? Um, one minute. One minute.
Change, you would get more toothpicks or less toothpicks? More. more toothpicks, okay, what else? I would get more toothpicks more, um, more, marshmallows. More toothpicks, more marshmallows. You could probably build a better nest with more supplies, right? All right, very good. Thank you so much for joining our class. I hope you enjoyed our lesson on steam design. Time to go!